Hi guys. All right. So here we are in day four with Stryker. Um, she's been here for a couple of days with us. We've done a lot of things. We went to the store. We've been to several levels. She's had a few car rides. Um, we took her on a couple of off-leash walks uh, with some anchor dogs or mentor dogs where she could just follow those dogs when we walk in the street so we could stay away from feces or anything like that that she could get infected from. So today what I want to talk about is we're going to start implementing some positive reinforcement treat training um, and start teaching her um, some of the movements, okay? So we're going to start with five things. We're going to say um, come, sit, down, stand, and the name game. Okay, so I did this with her for about five minutes earlier just to do the introduction, and I screwed up the video, so I had to do it again. So I tried to give you the first time, but you're actually going to get the second time, okay? So here we go. I'm going to turn this into a routine. I'm going to bend down and recall her using the come command. Come. She gets her treat. Then I'm going to drop her into a sit. Sit. Good. Okay, I'm going to take a couple nuggets, go nose to toes, down, and then her elbows land, I'm going to release the food. From there, I'm going to call her into a stand. Stand. Good. And I'm going to do this four or five times. Come. Sit. Down. I'm going to manipulate it just a little bit, get her to lay down. So she lays down, drop the food. Good. I'm going to bring her to a stand. Stand. Good. Now I'm going to do that four or five times, just stepping away from her and calling her and doing that routine four or five times. And I can do that once or twice a day. It takes about five or six minutes. After I'm done with that, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on her name using the name game, okay? So every time she kind of looks away from me, I'm gonna call her name Stryker, and when she looks up at me, I'm gonna treat her. So I'm gonna look away from her, so we, if we make eye contact, she'll never look away. Stryker, Stryker, good. What I'm looking for is her head to snap around, give me a little twist. Ah! Stryker. Good. Striker. Good. Striker. Good. Striker. Good. Okay, and I'm going to do that about eight times. So four or five repetitions of the come, sit, down, um, stand and then about five or eight of the name game. It takes five or six minutes to do the whole routine and you'll begin to teach the dog to focus on you, start working on the treats. You can add any number of things. I never recommend doing the handshake. When you do the handshake later, the dog uses it as an excuse to paw everybody. It's a nightmare to fix. So you can do it if you want. You can teach your dog to roll over, to twirl around, to do anything. I and mean, if we want this dog to twirl, we simply get the dog to lure and treat. If we want the dog to spin the other way, we, we lure and treat. So there's no number of things that you cannot do. You can do anything you want. I personally just use these few things for now. And if I want to add some things later, as we start the heal process and all of that, we can do that. If I want this dog to heal, even on day one, I can move her, bring her into a heel, sit, and give her a cookie. So I can put all those movements together even on the first day. Okay, but don't push the dog too far too fast. We just want to teach her the concept of working for the food and then we will intensify the training and give her less treats and make her sit and wait longer and all kinds of cool stuff as we go along. Okay, so we'll just do one more, come. And we'll give her a little cookie there. And then we'll say, striker, 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 striker. Okay, striker. Good. She gets nothing until she focuses. We'll do one more sit. Strike her. Sit. Sit. No. Good. And there you go. That's the beginning of it. Again, you can do any number of things. You don't have to do exactly what I said. This is the fundamentals of normal obedience is we're going to do, you know, come, heel, sit, down, stay, that kind of stuff. 
And so we're just gonna start working on that with her. We can do that once or twice a day for a few minutes. I like to do it when they're hungry, before they eat their dinner, so they're more ambitious about um, taking the food and doing the work. In addition to that, in the next day or so, I'm gonna add a clicker into the training. I just didn't have time for it today, but as we add the clicker, you're gonna see how intensely the dog begins to focus on the clicker and how they really start to pay attention to the work, okay? So that's what we're gonna start doing. I suggest you do something of that nature with your pup as you begin to raise them and teach them how to focus. All right, we'll see you soon. Have a good day.